Families are busy getting the kids ready for school, and aside from buying supplies and new clothes, there's the challenge of packing lunches that are healthy and something the kid will actually like. Mm -hmm. That's right. We want to welcome nutritionist Tina Miller with our friends at the United Dairy Industry of Michigan. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. You know, school lunch is all about um, the ABCs. So when we think about packing lunches, we want to make it uh, have a little affection, right? And we want to have the kids involved in making lunch, maybe pack a little fun thing, write a little I love you note on a banana. If your kid's in middle school, don't do that. They'll hate <laughs> right, you for no, it. No. Now, this right? is all about the ABCs so, of packing a lunch, right? Yep. A, affection. And, okay. And then when it comes to B, it's balance. Think my plate, right? We want to have dairy with every meal. American Academy of Pediatrics recommends milk with meals okay. and then water in between. And then we also want to make sure we include something from each group. We want to have the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, a fruit group, a veggie group, a protein. Protein is lasting power. It helps keep the hunger at bay. And then a healthy whole grain. Okay. And then when it comes to C, it's care, take care on the packing. What you can do, look at that right on cue, opens right up. You can pack these the night before your lunch bag. Make sure it's an insulated one. Mm -hmm. Put it in the refrigerator open. If mm. you pack it and close it, it's insulating from the cool air in the oh, refrigerator. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's very smart. So, and we're going to be making a soup here in a couple minutes. And if you're going to send something hot, what you can do, oh, let me show this one, is the first thing you should do is um, remove the top, put boiling water in there, or super, super hot tap water. Let okay. it sit for a minute so you preheat it. Dump you that know out. What? This is brilliant. And then put your hot stuff in there. So, That's really smart. It's just a one easy trick. See, I've been. You know your way kids. around the kitchen. I huh? know my okay. way around. And these are cool. This one comes with its own little spoon. Yep, Isn't I have awesome? one of those. Oh, do you? <laughs> I do. Love them. I do. They're it's great. Just a cool color. So let's talk so. sandwiches and packing things up with this. Yeah. Way. So let's mix it up a bit so it's not boring, right? Yes. Uh, bento boxes are very, very popular. So they're like all the rage. So a fun thing to do is to make what I like to call a sushi wrap. Right, so you can hear what we've done is I've just taken some um, guacamole, layered, or, layered it on a flat bread. I'm using uh, Flat Out. They're a Michigan company. I like to use Michigan products. Okay. And then you can put whatever you want in there, but I suggest mixing it all up. You can use things like cream cheese or even hummus if you want as your spread, but spread it to the edge. You can roll, slice, and in the box it goes. And then I have uh, some grapes with that and cut up fruit and, um, and yes, chocolate chocolate milk is okay. There's not as much sugar in that chocolate milk as you yeah. think. Um, and maybe a little sweet treat. I've got a little teddy grams. What I love grams. about the, the way you did this wrap is the presentation. That'll make anyone want to eat, especially kids. Yeah. Little pinwheels, sushi. You, exactly. Make it fun. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah, like if you put a face on a pizza or yeah. a bagel pizza. What do you got right there? Yeah, this is a oh, throwback. It's an English muffin pizza. So you take a half an English muffin, mm -hmm. put a little pizza sauce on top, and then just put some veggies on top. I have, uh, these are red bell pepper, a little zucchini uh, square or triangles so to look like little eyebrows, olives. Perfect. Uh, you can use green bell pepper for hair if you want. And all of these recipes, by the way, will be at our uh, Milk Means More website, okay. which we'll link to. Did you see Milk Means More? Milk Means More. That's the website. That's the website. Milk means more. That's us, man. Now let's get to the soup because we're okay. down to 30 seconds. Oh, I wanna, wow. This smells okay. so good. I want to make sure you guys hear about this. All right. So what I've done is um, I took carrot, onion, celery, tossed it, uh, simmered it in a little bit of uh, olive oil, salt, pepper, thyme, garlic. Mm -hmm. I took uh, about two cups, three cups of diced potatoes. I nuked these ahead of time to cheat. I was going to ask you that. Yep, okay. So then we can eat it later. Got it. Those go in, and then what we'll do is we'll add... Uh, corn to it as much or as little as you want and I'll add diced chicken. I just took a rotisserie chicken and took the meat up right off that mm -hmm. and then we'll mix all that together and then what makes it nice and creamy I'll is mix. you mix yes. that. Oh, you're awesome. I'm Thank handy you. around the kitchen. Okay. This smells so good. I think it's We're the time. We have uh, the, this red um, large cup in the front there. We've got the finished product with a little yep. bit of cheese on top. For the more cheese. great ideas and recipes, visit the website yes. milkmeansmore.org. Again, that's .org. Milk, milk means more. Org. Org. And then put this in your thermos, and then you are ready to then go. Then you're ready to rock and roll.